information. Can you as a defense team make a request for him to appear? Well, we as a defense team can and have the right to seek to meet with, interview uh, anyone. And that right includes uh, obviously Mr. Marty, but we don't need permission from the court. We don't need permission from the prosecution. We will do our job because our job is to prevent, defend our client and our job is to, to bring out the truth. And we will do what it takes for that to happen. And Mr. Prosper, when you say people here and international need to pay attention to what is going on in the court and around the court, uh, we have seen recently the visit of Kosovo Justice Minister, uh, Ms. Albulena Haziu, mm -hmm. at The Hague, but Mr. Thasi, your client, didn't want to meet with her. So how do you see this episode? Well, I, I can't comment on that episode because I was not there. I don't know what, what happened. But what I would encourage everyone is, who, everyone who is uh, from Kosovo, including my client, including my client, I think I will encourage everyone to, to come together. Because when you look at this case, it's, it's a case obviously with the names of individuals at the top, but it's a case that is really attacking, in a way, the establishment of this country. By calling the KLA a criminal enterprise, it's really so it's something that every person who lives here needs to pay attention to and come to a determination as to whether or not they agree with the characterization that the prosecution is putting forth. So basically what you're saying is that not individuals are still